Recently, we got to check out Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous at PAX East last week, and we got some hands-on time with the game, and in this video, I want to show you some gameplay from PAX East, as well as talk about some of the things the developers have revealed in their Q&A on Reddit recently, uh, to give you some more information about what's going on with the game. First up is turn-based combat. We had an interview with Owlcat almost a month ago, uh, where we discussed this with them right before their Kickstarter went live, and they said there wouldn't be turn-based combat, but that has since changed. They added it to their Kickstarter goals, and it was met. So there's going to be turn-based combat in the game. You're going to have the choice between real-time and turn-based. For all of you real-time and turn-based fans out there, you should be happy with that. Uh, additionally, they are going to do some AI tweaking between the modes so that it should be a little more balanced between both. I know this was a concern for people who played Pathfinder Kingmaker, was that when they switched to turn-based mode, it wasn't particularly balanced. So they're going to do a bit of tweaking with the AI. I don't know exactly how balanced it will be, but it should be more balanced than what Kingmaker's mod did. One thing that was discussed in their AMA was queuing of attacks. People were asking for being able to queue up spells that would help with some of the spellcasting classes. Um, and it would allow you to queue up certain spell rotation. Alcat has no plans to add that to the game currently, so that doesn't look like it's going to make it in. Though they did say plans on that might change, but right now it's not looking probable. We do know that there's going to be an alpha and a beta for the game. Uh, no news exactly on when these are going to take place. It doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be any information exactly on how you get into the alpha. This might be people that are pre-selected by Alcat. I don't see anything about it on their Kickstarter in terms of, you know, meet this uh, Kickstarter thing, you know, pick this selection and you get early access, which is the case for beta. There are some options that include early beta access um, to the game. So there isn't a lot of information out there on how you get alpha access. Looks like maybe some people will get beta access, uh, or maybe everyone who pre-orders the game may get or backs the Kickstarter might get beta access, but maybe some people will have it early. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, but there will be an alpha and a beta, and they are going to announce in the near future when these will take place. It was noted that all classes from Kingmaker will be in Wrath of the Righteous, along with the new classes that they're adding. And um, as far as Mythic paths go, they did say that some classes will work better with certain Mythic classes than others in, for, you know, in terms of synergy and combination. They didn't go into a lot of details. It seems like they're very hush-hush and don't want to spoil too many things. But they did say, you know, maybe if you're playing a Lich, for example, maybe some classes will work better with a Lich class than others. So this should be very interesting for players. Additionally, there were a lot of questions about alignment in the Mythic Paths. Um, because, for instance, if you're taking, like, the Lich, for example, it's, you know, naturally an evil character. There is room to still play a good Lich character after you've become a Lich. But they did say there are certain requirements for these... Uh, mythic path so you may have to make a you know some evil decisions in order to become a lich but then once you become a lich maybe you decide that you know you've had a change of heart and you want to make some good decisions so that will be possible within the framework i don't know how far it extends like i don't know if you can be a saint after you decide to be a lich but there should be a you know a variety of things you can choose from in terms of alignment in order to still make some good decisions or, or many good decisions if you choose an evil character and vice versa on the alignment note, they did note that there are some changes to the way, there are going to be some changes to the way alignment works in the game. Uh, one of the complaints from someone was that, uh, you know, decisions sometimes in Pathfinder Kingmaker, you had to pick a decision that was sort of against your alignment. They're really taking a look at this and they're going to try and make it so that that does not happen in Wrath of the Righteous. And that you always have something that kind of matches the style of play or your character's alignment so that you always have an option that matches uh, to pick from. On the romance front, always a tough question for people. Uh, they did note that there are going to be significantly more romances. This is because they hit their Kickstarter goal. But that the depth of these romances is not going to change much from what you saw in Kingmaker. So if you were unhappy with the depth of romance in Kingmaker, that's not likely to change, unfortunately. But you will have a lot more options in who you can romance. So at least you get that. One other thing uh, that was mentioned in the AMA, uh, maybe you know or didn't know about already, is mounted combat. Uh, Wrath of the Righteous will feature mount mounted combat, so you will be able to mount animals uh, and ride them into battle, which just sounds kind of fucking epic. Can't wait to see how that plays out. It'll be interesting to ha see how that affects combat and how that's all balanced, but uh, that's something you're going to be able to do. Another thing to note here as you're watching the footage of uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, the UI is currently just using Kingmaker's UI mostly. The UI is going to be getting an overhaul. They just simply use the UI that they had in order to get some, you know, preview footage in order to show people what the concept of the game is going to look like. But, you know, the UI and everything, the inventory is all going to get an overhaul. 
That's obviously happening a little bit later. I don't know exactly when that's going to be happening, when it will be shown. But in case you were wondering, the UI is going to change and it will change significantly. Lastly, in the mod support front, um, Owlcat has not decided yet exactly how they're going to handle mods. This seemed to be the most popular question uh, in the AMA. How is modding going to work? Um, they simply said they don't know yet that they are looking at using Steam Workshop, but they haven't made any final decisions yet and that they will let players know when they do. So look forward to some announcement exactly on how modding works. They are very, very sensitive to it. They want people to be able to mod. They just haven't quite figured out exactly which system they're going to use. If you guys haven't already backed Wrath of the Righteous on Kickstarter, there is less than a week left for their Kickstarter campaign. They are already well over their goal, and they've almost raised double the money that they did for Kingmaker on Kickstarter. So if you want to support the game, you want to get it for cheaper, or you just want to help support the developers, you know, head over there and back that. And, uh, you know, for those of you that are disappointed with Baldur's Gate 3, the directions it's going, this might just be the game for you. So, you know, go help them out and, and help get that game that you really want. Thank you.